Is it really possible to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? Well, the short answer is yes, but not everyone can do it. In this video, I'm going to share with you five types of people that can successfully lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. And if you're not one of those five types of people, then stick around till the end because I have something special for you. What's up everybody, it's Anand from UnderdogStrength.com and welcome to episode 1 of my body recomposition series where I'll be attempting to do exactly that, lose fat and build muscle at the same time. And I'm going to be documenting the step by step exact process for you. So if you don't want to miss out on all my episodes of this body recomposition series, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Now when we talk about body composition, we typically refer to the amount of fat we have in the body and um, the amount of lean body mass we have in our body and you know the, the fat mass is usually a percentage of our total body weight and this is also known as your body fat percentage and your lean body mass is basically anything in your body that is not fat so it can be muscle mass your bones the water in your body your organs anything that is not fat can be considered as lean body mass so if you were to go on a weight loss diet and lose a lot of weight, your body fat percentage should also go down along with that. And this means that you have actually improved your body composition. On the other hand, if you were to gain a lot of muscle and without gaining any fat or minimal fat, then in that case, your body composition can also improve. And this is because now you have more lean body mass in your body in relation to your fat mass. In fact, I've successfully done this myself. I used to weigh well over 275 pounds and at my leanest I used to weigh about 150 pounds. So I lost 125 pounds but not only did I focus on losing weight but I also gained a lot of muscle in the process. So what are the five categories of people that can successfully lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? The very first category is obese individuals. An obese individual typically has a body fat percentage of 30% or higher. Although I would say that even if your body fat percentage is about 25% or higher, it is very much possible to do a recomp. And this is because since your body has higher stores of fat, it is less reluctant to give up those stores. So, you know, it's the same way how it's easier to lose fat if you have more fat. Uh, and it's harder to, it becomes harder and harder to lose fat as you get leaner and leaner. When someone tries to recomp and they already have a lot of stores of fat, the, the body will be more willing to give up those stores and use, and use fat for energy. The second category is if you are a complete beginner. As a, as a complete beginner, you are far away from your genetic potential in terms of building muscle mass. And therefore, it is much easier to gain muscle, muscle initially and as you get more and more advanced, it becomes harder and harder to put on muscle mass. So if you're a complete novice, if you go to the gym for the first time or if you're brand new, the training stimulus that you get from strength training is going to be a novel stimulus for you. And your body is will be more willing to make those initial adaptations, also known as newbie gains, if you're a complete beginner. The third category of people who can successfully lose fat and gain muscle at the same time are people who either stopped training due to an injury or just took some time off. Now, here's the thing. When, when you train in the gym and you and you build muscle, when you stop training for an extended period of time, I would say, you know, more than two or three weeks, your, your muscles start to atrophy a little bit over time. And this is because that stimulus that actually got you to build the muscle in the first place is now missing. But the good news is that when you start training again, that muscle com usually comes back very fast. It comes back much faster than if you were trying to build the same muscle from scratch. And this is because of something called muscle memory. Muscle memory is definitely a real thing. So if you have someone who had really trained hard in the past and put on a good amount of muscle mass, and for some reason they stopped training for an extended period of time, let's say they stopped training for a year, they might have lost their muscle and strength and they might have even gained some body fat simply because they were inactive or maybe the diet was off uh, whatever the case is when they come back into training it's it's gonna be much easier for them to do a recomp because 
they have that muscle memory to gain back the muscle and if they put on any body fat by simply starting to train again and getting back into a healthy routine they're gonna be able to recomp pretty successfully the fourth type of person that can recomp is is someone who was training naturally and then decides to use some performance enhancing drugs so these drugs are you know can really speed up your progress initially in terms of gaining muscle and losing fat now obviously these performance enhancing drugs also have their limitations but initially if you take someone who would never use these drugs before and he starts using them that person can initially recomp pretty successfully and the fifth type of person that can successfully recomp is someone who just had a terrible diet now let's assume this person had a really low protein diet like not even half a gram of protein per pound of body weight and then you know they, let's say they were consuming all the calories from fat and junk food and in general you know the diet was lacking in in various macro and micronutrients and as long as this person is training hard and you change their diet to give them sufficient protein some you know good amount of carbohydrates to fuel their performance and a good amount of healthy fats you will see that the body composition starts to improve meaning they can they can perform better in the gym they can recover better from the training and you know their hormonal status will also be better because of eating healthier and having these healthy habits around food so as part of my body recomposition series i'll be attempting to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time so you may be wondering why i'm deciding to do this because first of all i'm no longer obese in fact, I even had my body fat percentage tested and it put me at 18% body fat. Secondly, I'm no longer a beginner. In fact, if you look at my numbers in terms of powerlifting, then I'm well into my intermediate phase. The third thing is I'm not coming off any major layoffs or injuries. The fourth thing is that I've never used, neither do I intend to use any sort of performance enhancing drugs. And the fifth thing is that I've had a really good diet that is optimized to build muscle and lose fat for a really long time. So even though I don't fall into any of these five categories, I'm still going to recomp for three different reasons. Number one, my body fat percentage is 18%, which even though it's considered in the healthy range, it is still on the higher side of the healthy range. And I, I still think that I have enough stores of body fat to be able to do this. And the second reason is that my main goal right now is strength. I compete in the 83 kilogram weight class in powerlifting in the USAPL. And right now my body weight is about 80 to 81 kilos. So I'm right at the top of that weight class. So if I want to stay competitive in that weight class, I need to be at the top of that weight class in order to be competitive. And if I decided to go on a cut, let's say I was to drop 10 pounds or so, and then build my way back up, I will most definitely lose strength that way. And the great thing is that even though I'm more or less maintaining my body weight right now, I'm gaining strength every single week. And strength is one of the best indicators that you're putting on muscle mass. And if my muscle mass goes up over time and I'm not adding any body weight, then this simply means that my body composition will most definitely improve. And the third reason why I'm trying this is simply because of my own curiosity. Now I've coached multiple people lose fat and gain muscle at the same time but most of these people have been people who are really out of shape either beginners or obese individuals so it's very easy for me to transform these people but I, I, I think you know using these techniques that I'm about to share with you in my upcoming videos I think it's definitely possible and I think it's going to be a great learning experience for all of us so I will be documenting the entire process in great detail over the next six months because in six months I have my next powerlifting competition which is the USAPL boss of NorCal so in my upcoming episodes I'm gonna share with you exactly how to measure your body fat how to keep track of your progress what was the best training program if you want to lose fat and build muscle at the same time what's the best diet for recomping because the diet for recomping is slightly different I hope you're as excited as I am because I definitely am really excited to see how far I can take this. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss this entire series. If you have any questions for me, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below because I make sure to answer all the comments on my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.